Well, you know, we see the numbers go up each day, but those are just the positive cases. There are thousands of more people who have all the symptoms of COVID-19, but have not been able to get tested. They are considered presumptive positive. And then there are even those who aren't showing any symptoms. They're asymptomatic, but they may be carrying and spreading the virus. That is why the number of people who actually have the coronavirus here in Connecticut is much more than what's being reported through official channels. Through the coughs that have persisted for two weeks <coughs> and from the isolation of her home, Kathy Flaherty of Newington shared her story with Fox 61. The evening of Wednesday the 11th, I started getting a scratchy throat. Um, on the morning of the 12th, uh, I took my temperature and I had a fever, and so I knew I'd be staying home. A quarantine diary of sorts, she described what it's like to presumptively have COVID-19. It is like, unlike anything I've ever had in my life. Kathy gets the flu shot each year, but says this is different. The pain um, and pressure in my chest doesn't stop. Um, I am exhausted. Uh, even just sitting up. Her husband, Jim Valentino, a freelance graphic designer, is also living in the home, socially distant and separated from her. And knock on wood, he is fine. But when Kathy had trouble breathing on the 20th and was taken to the hospital, her husband wasn't allowed to be with her. That's probably going to happen to a lot of families. Um, and that, I think, was the most scared I've ever been. Kathy thought she may need oxygen or a breathing machine. Luckily, she did not. They uh, had me hooked up to the oximeter in the emergency room. And despite the difficulty I had breathing, um, I was getting enough oxygen. So she's been hunkered down at home, drinking plenty of fluids, having breakfast for dinner, getting plenty of rest, and occupying herself with some Lego sets and trying to continue her work. She's the executive director of the Connecticut Legal Rights Project, work that routinely brings her to the legislative office building and into the community. If they actually did my testing right away and got a positive test, I would really feel for the person at the Department of Public Health who would have to do my contact tracing because, you know, I have reached out to people myself um, and it was a lot of people. And that's part of the problem. Kathy has spent hours on hold over the course of three days to try and get tested. When I called the third day to get the test, um, they told me I didn't qualify because the guidelines had changed that morning. It's been a very frustrating process. It's just interesting finding some people who are asymptomatic and get tests. And there are those of us who do have symptoms who can't seem to get a test. And if you're wondering why Kathy is considered a presumptive positive case, not only is it because she wasn't able to be tested and has all the symptoms, but it's because her doctor ruled out the possibility of strep and the flu. She says that she's been overwhelmed by the kindness from the community and has even had neighbors stop by to drop groceries off at her front door. For Fox 61 News, I'm Matt Karen.